Hiya guys, how you doing? It's so good to see you. It's me, Roger the Shave Lion. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! -hoo -hoo. Today is episode 250. I want to remind you today that you need to pray in faith. Okay, pray in faith that you're going to receive what you're going to receive because God promises to answer our prayers. Keep this in mind. All right, you guys. Today, I am going to be shaving with the Tampa Edition razor by Tampa Shave Company. But I have a new razor blade in here, one I haven't used yet. This is called the Vidyet Super Max Platinum Razor Blade. There's a look at the box. Very nice indeed. And my shaving soap for today is from Lather Brothers Soap Company. This is called Kale Ocho Shaving Soap. Kale Ocho. Yes. Lovely. All right. Uh, the scent is tobacco, guava, papaya. Very interesting scent, scent indeed. All right. Gonna love it. And uh, I'm gonna match that up today with Argata Aftershave and Cologne. We're using this one today. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, this is by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. And it's it's lichened in scent, but this is uh, a little more woody. Okay. And then I'm also going to be using my Parasso brush. Boar's hair brush, of course. And I'm going to be using my Georgetown Pottery Scuttle. Hey, there you go. There you have it. All right, you guys, let's get into it. Join me for the soaping. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We're getting ready to do it again. I have my soap, my brush, and my loaded hot to trot scuttle. I'm gonna put the scuttle off to the side for right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hydrate this brush. I'm gonna stick that into my water. And I'm gonna open up my soap. And I'm going to grab some water to uh, bloom it. There we go. I have water in there to bloom it. And wonderful. How you guys doing today? I hope that everything is going well with you. I want to remind you, my friends, that you are dearly loved by the Lord. And as you believe in your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and learn to trust in Him, and as you pray to Him, He is going to give you his wonderful love and he's going to answer your prayers he will answer them okay of course what he answers is up to his will not to yours but he will indeed answer all right you guys I'm going to go ahead and squeeze out my brush brush has been squeezed out and now I'm going to empty this water And now we're going to go ahead and load up this brush. Ready? Here we go. I am sure we're going to come up with a lovely, lovely lather. It's going to be wonderful, I can tell already. This stuck stuff is nice and rich. And creamy. You can just tell by the way it looks. And by the sound it makes. All right, very good. I think we've got it good. There's the loaded brush. I'm gonna set that in my scuttle. Now I'm gonna take all this extra out with my finger. And I add all of this to my scuttle. All right, we'll set that off to the side. We'll bring our scuttle back into view. We'll get the rest of this uh, soap put into the bowl as good as it can anyway Whew, water's hot boy that's gonna be a hot towel today I know that all right and we're gonna start by whipping it up like this I'm gonna have to add some water to it though so let me go ahead and add a little bit of water to this. OK. 
okay and we'll come up with a nice lovely lather Okay, look at that. Beautiful, lovely lather. All right. And of course, I will whip more as I continue here. So there's my lather bowl. Let's go ahead and take God's word out now. The Lord has specifically asked me to read this section of God's word. So I'm going to follow his directions. And this is coming to us from 1 John chapter 5, beginning at verse 13 and going through verse 15 it says this I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God that you may know that you have eternal life and this is the confidence that we have toward him that if we ask according to his will he hears us and if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask we know that we have the requests that we have asked of him. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Short, sweet, and to the point, but a very important word indeed for us. All right, you guys, there you have it, God's word. Let's go upstairs now for the shave and the devotion. Hiya, guys. Yay, another shave. Okay, now it's the scary part. This towel is flipping hot. Ooh. Yes, it's hot to trot. All right, we're going to go ahead. Whew. Kind of scary, you know. Not as scary as the aftershave, but this is all right. Okay, let's go ahead and present the towel. Oh, yeah. Whew. Nice hot towel, let me tell you. Alright, I'm going to set the towel off to the side. And I need to get my mirror in here. So let me do that next. Mirror, mirror, where are you? Oh, there you are. Isn't that cool? Okay. Beautiful. I have mirror in front of my face. Okay, here we go. We're going to go ahead and lather it up. Mmm, look at that coverage. Very nice. Beautiful coverage. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and give it a shave. My friends, if you are a believer in Jesus Christ, you have all rights and privileges and access to our Lord and Savior Jesus. Smooth cutter. So far so good. You have access to our Heavenly Father. If we ask in prayer according to His will, then we're definitely going to get the things that we've asked for. Okay? Now, oh, some people would like to think that God is just going to give them whatever. You know? I mean, I have, uh, in my experience as a minister of the gospel, 
had some crazy requests. You know what? I prayed for them anyway. I, you know, I, I, for lack of a better word, I humored them. Not being, you know, being thoughtful in a front, in a bunch, of, in the front of a bunch of people. I gave the Lord the request, whether it was for money or help or whatever the case might be. But the thing is, my friends, the Lord Jesus himself decides what we have and what we don't have. And it all hinges on his will, what he wants. Now we might think in our wisdom that we need to have certain things. We might think in our own wisdom that we need to have what we want. And yet, we have to know with certainty that He decides what we need. He decides what we receive. Okay? Side, side swipe here. To go ahead and give us a side work here. So you got a nick on the chin there. But you know, that's the thing. He is... He's devoted to us. And He loves us. But we have to ask in accordance with His will. Well, obviously, we can't sit there and pray, Lord, uh, please help me be successful with this bank robbery. Or please help me that I should get even. Or, please help me to show everyone that I am the best. No. He doesn't side with sin. Why would he answer such a prayer? No, he wouldn't. Alright. So we gotta, we gotta use our common sense, if you will. You know. But whatever you're asking for, it doesn't matter. Okay. The thing is, you gotta get into your mind that God decides what you have. You know, our longings and wantings. Are important to us. But what if we long and want for things that we don't need? What do we long and want for things that will actually destroy us? Have you ever given that some consideration? You know? Take something simple like a job promotion. You know, oh Lord, I really want to have this managerial situation. I really want to have this or that and the other thing. You know, as far as a job would go. And he decides in his wisdom that if we were to take such a position, it would lead us down a path that we do it harm all, not only to ourselves, but to others. Think about that. You know what? I've had a desire in my heart for years to become a, a pilot. Ever since I was a little boy. Of course, I've desired to be a pastor, too, and God made me that as well. But, d despite my prayers and my wants to become a pilot, He hasn't granted that to me. Does that mean that God doesn't love me? No, not at all. We're going against the brain. He hasn't decided that he hates me or anything, but he knows again what's best for me. His will knows what I can handle 
what I can't handle. I mean, how is it that we can judge God thinking that we know better than Him? We don't know better than Him. Trust me on this. We do not know better than the Creator of the heavens and the earth. You just simply You just simply haven't known. Not too bad. A very nice shave indeed. Ah, baby butt smooth? Very close. Underside so tough on me. I'm telling you I got a tough underside. Hmm. <laughs> so it's a little bit Yeah, a little bit rough yet down here. Not too bad. But overall, beautiful. Okay. So trust in what his decision is for your life. Please pray. Whatever it is you want or need, pray. And in doing so, he's going to answer you. All right? May not be the answer that you want. That might be no. But leave that into his hands because he knows what's best for you. Okay? All right, you guys. Time to do the top side. It's looking dusty and crusty. So we're going to go into fast forward time. Well, it's fast forward time. Let it go. Hey, I'm done! <laughs> All right. Whew. All right, you guys. Time for the Phoenix and a Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements of Carta. The Mystery Shaver after shaving cologne. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Hmm, <laughs> not too bad. Smells marvelous. Whew. All right, you guys, there you have it. Again, make sure that you keep on praying. The Lord loves you. He wants to give you good things. The thing is, He wants to give you what is on His will. Okay? Pray anyway. Pray without ceasing. Pray for yourself, pray for others, pray for people all over the world and for situations. And God's will is going to be made manifest in you. All right, you guys? Great. You have a great day in the Lord. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this video. When you share the video, you are sending the gospel out. Leave a comment by all means. Hey, thank you for joining me. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he give you Nick Free and Baby Butt Smooth Shapes. Have a great day, everyone. Turtles.